I was helping a young professional who was producing a report for me. And what he gave me was quite low quality. It was missing parts, things weren't looking right. There was a lot of mistakes in the document. So I thought I'd share with you in this video the lessons that I gave him to help him improve the quality of his deliverables, uh, of his reports, his documents, his spreadsheets, and anything else that as a young professional, he needs to produce quality information on. And hopefully that's what I'd, I'd like to share on this channel. That's what I like to share on this channel is the sorts of things that will help you in your professional work, in your workplace, improve yourself as a professional. So in this case, uh, my, the, young, the young man I was mentoring, he had a problem with producing quality documents. And what he did, what I asked him to do was to write this uh, report for me and uh, draft it in his own words, complete the report himself. I was mentoring him to do this and then, and then submit it to me. And I, he had a time frame to do it in. It was going to be a strict time frame. So there's always going to be some level of mistake. Anything you put together, there's going to be some level of mistake. But I want to share in this video how you can catch those mistakes quickly. You can catch those mistakes before submission, regardless of your time frame, to make sure that you're submitting the best quality that you can produce. And I, I feel this is kind of related to the 80-20 rule, where the first time you produce a document, you're going to get about 80% right. The second time when you come to revise it, you're going to do about another 80% correct. So it's going to be about 96% of the way there. And in my experience as an engineer and a consultant, that 96% is usually sufficient because someone else, a third party is going to review it. And I've kind of hinted at the uh, trick there. The point of this video is to d uh, understand for you how you can do a production check to uh, a self check, a production check to make sure that you're submitting a quality document. And so that's what I help this, this young engineer understand. Because when I was starting out as a professional, uh, I had a great mentor who, who taught me that uh, before submitting anything, always do something called a production check, a check on your own work to make sure it's ready for production. And that's what I was sharing with this young, young professional of passing down the knowledge. Because the production check is your opportunity to take a step back, Think about it from, uh, chances are with whatever report you're submitting, someone is going to be the reviewer, someone is going to review your report, whether that be your client, stakeholders, your boss, someone else. To take a step back from what you've written, put yourself in their shoes, and then give yourself a critical look at the work you've just produced. So we call this a production check. Now that, that seems to be quite a unique term. When, when I went to Google this before making the video, to do some research on the, making sure I've got the most helpful ways to help you, I couldn't find much information about it. So this may also be referred to as a self-check of your own work. But I think the key here is to remove yourself from having written, written the document, having drawn the drawing, whatever else it was. Remove yourself from that. Put yourself in the shoes of a reviewer and then give your work a critical eye to think about it from their perspective and say what is right and what is wrong. So in this case, production for this document meant to print it out and read through it off the computer screen. So because it was a report, it was easy to print. It was only about 10 pages long. So I, I said to the young engineer, please print out this report. Please take a look through it with a pen and tick off everywhere that looks good. Because then if you're thinking about what looks good, you might notice things that look bad. You might notice things that are mistakes in the document. But make sure that I told make sure that you print it and read it. And I've seen this in a few other sources as well, where uh, you might see on on Reddit life pro tips or something like that. They say if you're producing something on the computer screen, print it or change the font. You can select all the document, change the font to give give your brain a new perspective on it. Because I've often found that when you're wrapped up in something, you don't notice your own mistakes. Uh, personally, one of the tricks I found is that after I finished writing, to, to get up and go and do something else, to make a coffee and drink it away from the computer screen, to go and have lunch, or even to sleep on the problem. If, if I'm submitting a very important document and I, don't, and, and I want to conduct this self-check before I do the submission, I'd prefer to sleep on it. So I try to get everything done the day before so that I can take a sleep, come back, and then read through the document fresh. Try to put myself in that third-party perspective. Try to separate myself from the writing process from the production of it and then check it again. So the production check. It's a check at the end of production to make sure, or check at the end of producing it to make sure it's ready for production. So that's what I was trying to teach this engineer to after, so the, the process being 
produce the report and then take a step back, take a break for a minute and then come back and review it. And that review step, that could be conducted by printing the document, that could be conducted by changing the font to a different font, make sure you don't save it, changing the font to a different font to trick your brain into thinking it's a new document and then reading through it again and making sure you read every detail in the document. There's a tendency, particularly under time pressure, to skip parts of the document, to not read the whole thing, to not understand it from that third party perspective, but that's what your audience is going to see. And so after doing this, I found that the quality vastly improved. He's uh, been doing well so far. He's never made that mistake again. So that, that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. To, after you fit, to ensure the quality of your documents, to ensure the quality of things that you're delivering in the workplace, after you've finished preparing it, take a step back, take a break, change something about the environment. So change your perspective, change the document's font or formatting or something like that. Please, please don't say it. <laughs> uh, I've shared in other videos how to uh, do various things in Word because uh, that's what I like to do on this channel, share things with professionals. So after you've prepared the document, take a step back, put yourself in the shoes of a third party, change the environment, and then read it again and review it. And I think that, that's key to this uh, ensuring this personal quality process where you're capturing that 96%, the, the 0.8 times the 0.8, the 80% the and then the 80%. You're giving yourself two lots of 80%. So you're about 96% there. And I feel that's a efficient way to ensure quality. And uh, I was teaching him, that, look, don't only apply this to reports. You can apply this to uh, forms that you have to fill out. You can apply this to emails. You can apply this to spreadsheets or anything else that you're producing in the workplace. So that's why I wanted to share with you in this video. Because uh, on this channel, I like to share the sorts of uh, tools, tips and tricks that will help professionals improve in their workplace based on the things that I've learned and, and researched, helping young professionals develop in the workplace as well. So my name's Chris, this is Engineered Upgrade. Hit subscribe if you're interested in more things like this. If this video helps you out, please hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one.